All right, so we've got the acid, and this is from uh, Home Depot, and it was about 11 bucks, I think, 12, 13. Don't know, there wasn't a tag in front of it. Um, you can get this at Pinch a Penny for $10, or at least you could before COVID, <laughs> but it's always gonna be around that price. It's gonna be in the pool section, out in the um, garden section. So what I do is I take just a plain old bucket, and this is the ever famous Florida Shelling Epic Fine. Huh. Can't ever find that again. So you will see this bucket in like every single video. <laughs> so I already filled it with water. I put one gallon of water in, and now I'm gonna pour half a gallon, or a whole gallon of acid in. So that was the whole bucket. Daisy. <laughs> so uh, it's a very windy day, which I definitely recommend. Don't do it on a non-windy day. And it's good to do it on a cooler day because you need to have your body completely covered. All right, so now let's go get our tongs, our face mask, which I should already be wearing, and eye protection. Okay, we are looking good. <laughs> All right, so this is what you're gonna do. <laughs> so if you wear eyeglasses, today is your day. This is your moment to shine. You can whip those contacts right out and just put your glasses on. Now, obviously they're open on the side. Not ideal, but they're glasses. So if you don't have glasses from like Home Depot or something that covers you all the way, your eyeglasses are gonna work. I have a hat on just because I'm scared of like skin cancer because I'm a redhead and hey you get to pull out your face mask again now respirator is ideal but again any face mask will do I actually double up my face mask so I have two on long sleeves pull out your long sleeve sweatshirts anything anything long sleeve the thicker the better so if you get splashed you don't get burned gloves get vinyl gloves because you don't want your hands burned wear pants and socks shoes cover up your body you can even use a gaiter if you want but i mean that's really getting crazy but i mean i wear gaiters all the time so all right so here we go all right so in this bucket we have our acid and our water half and half and this bucket is plain water and then you're gonna get yourself some tongs and then you're gonna get a um strainer you're gonna get a strainer. So make sure it's a tong and a strainer that you never wanna use again. It's gonna be like des designated to this. So we're gonna start off with this big piece. Now, you usually wanna use tongs to do this, but I cannot, I can barely lift this with one hand. So you're gonna leave it in for three seconds. So I'm gonna leave a little bit out so I can grab it and rotate it. So you leave it in for three seconds and then you put it in the water to neutralize it. Now I'm going to leave this in a little bit longer. So with seashells you want to do three seconds, no more than five seconds. With rocks you can go up to about a minute. And so the bubbles that you see coming out are good. That means it's getting rid of all the bad stuff and it's going to make your specimen really pretty all right that's good enough and I like to give it a good shaky shake and then dump in the water to neutralize it whoa and that's it so you can also add baking soda to the water I know I can't get it out and then that'll help neutralize it as well I don't bother because I've been doing this for years and I don't think it's necessary all right, we're going to the other side now. We're just gonna let this sit for a few seconds. This rock really doesn't have that much coming out. All right, so here it is. This is the final product. So it's not amazing. Didn't turn out stunning, but it did clean it up a lot. So If you take before and after pictures, you'll see more of the difference. If you don't, it's harder to notice it. But it gives it a good clean and it sanitizes it.
All right, so I'm really excited about this one. This came off my own property. So, we've got a little bit of everything here. Nice conglomerate. And I can't wait to see how it cleans up because I really hope that red starts to shine through. My, oh, Now as they dry, I'll be curious to see how much different they end up looking. Pretty neat though, right? That definitely does a good job. And it does something. So that's cleaning rocks with muriatic acid.